My friends and I decided to do No Shave November, and we've never done this before. So we decided to make a Snapchat group chat to track our progress for the entire month. And frankly, our results were amazing. Let's take a look at the progress of every single person for the entire month, starting with myself. All right, so here's me, day zero, doing just, you know, the whole facial hair stuff. It starts getting a little bit more noticeable, more noticeable, and at the end of it, we look like this. I mean, I don't know, I think I did pretty good. Mike's story is a great one, but one that really can only be categorized by song. So I'm gonna go grab a guitar. He lost to a Shave November. Well, No Shave November is a month-long challenge in November that is where contestants don't shave for the entire month. That's why me and my boys did it at a baseline. But it goes deeper than that. It's about cancer. A lot of things are about cancer. It's a big thing that kills a lot of people. It's a way to promote cancer education, specifically for men, and for just, in general, gaining funding for cancer prevention. It's a good thing. There's a link in the description that will show you more information if you want to learn about how to help people with cancer. Now it's time for JP. JP is a wonderfully beautiful man who just got great glasses and just all around did really good this month. I mean, look at this growth. He just did wonderfully and I'm happy to say he made it all the way to day 30. Good job, JP. A round of applause from me. Andrew is plain and simply one of the most beautiful contestants we've got this month. He's just beautiful. I mean, look at that long hair. Unfortunately, spoiler alert, he did cut it, as you see here. Uh, he did. But, you know, it is what it is. You gotta cut it sometimes. And frankly, he still looks beautiful after the cut. And, yeah. Andrew, good job. Day 30, you did it. Patrick did not shave at the start of No Shave November. He just left his facial hair there. Now, he did refuse to trim it, so there is some degree of he did not shave in November, but we don't appreciate it regardless. So, in honor of that, I wrote him a song. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him so much. He didn't shave. He didn't shave. He didn't shave. He didn't shave at the beginning of the month He's terrible and I hate him so much Yeah! But I won't hate you if you're subscribed. I mean, take a look at this number right here. This is a bad number. I mean, it's like, it's, it's okay. I get a lot of views, but like, come on. Make that number bigger, guys! Alright, so now we got Ryan. Ryan, frankly, is just wonderful and did a great job sticking it through the entire month. And, plain and simply, his end progress is mind-blowing. I mean, take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is the face of a man who truly grew a great beard. Good job, Ryan. Thank you very much for staying the entire month. This man has a beautiful chin and jaw and just everything and frankly the facial hair does wonders on it as well. Now he does remind me of some famous people but I don't feel like listing them because plain and simply it doesn't matter how famous they are, he'll always be famous in my heart. This is Gabe. He didn't send a lot of photos but we love Gabe and I think he did a great job this month. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Beardy Awards. The Beardy Awards are a wonderful, wonderful thing where we give prizes to those who participated in No Shave November. It doesn't matter if you lost, <coughs> Michael, <coughs> or cheated, <coughs> Patrick, <coughs> you still can get a prize. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? With our first category. The most colorful beard award goes to a man whose beard is brown, red, white, and black, and it is none other than myself. I, for some reason, have so many random colors in my beard, it is ridiculous. I blame my dad, he is a ginger. This next award has a very oddly specific title. It is, reminds me most of Josh Hutcherson. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, give me a drum roll, please. It is Dylan. Uh, I mean, 
Yeah. All right. This one was a hard one for us to choose, but this is the Token Friend Award. I'm not going to go into the reasoning for why this award exists, but the winner of this award is Michael! The Has Glasses Award is a really hard one to pick because a lot of our contestants had glasses. But the one whose glasses stood out the most to me and to all the wonderful people who I asked to vote on this, which was actually no one, this is completely rigged and I chose all of the winners, is JP. Congratulations JP, you get the Has Glasses Award. Congratulations on your poor eyesight. I'd like to thank the Academy for recognizing that I have glasses. Now for a break from our sponsors. This sponsor is myself. If you subscribe, then I won't burn your house down. I want to kill you like a mouse in a mouse trap. So might as well just press that button. And maybe while you're at it, leave a like. contestant was put to a poll and of course unanimously you guys decided it was Patrick my bad I read ahead on the script let me just erase that there's nothing here anymore anyway the real winner of the most loved award is Gabe Gabe unfortunately could not make it he just he left to us too soon this is not to say that Gabe died or anything this is just the only photo of him I have the Scum of the Earth Award is going to be someone who we just plain and simply hate. Hate more than anything on the planet. And a surprise contender came in to try and upset the vote. That was Mike when he decided to fail No Shave Remember. But regardless of that upset, it doesn't matter because Patrick was the big winner of the Scum of the Earth Award. Let's go, Patrick! Let's go! The Best Beard Award goes to Ryan. And frankly, I think it's insane to give it to this man because look at this, in his day 30, it turned into this. But I mean, that growth is insane. I don't know how you could get that in literally a day while I'm recording this, but this man has the greatest beard I've ever seen. It is so long and so amazing that I just have to say Ryan wins this one. I'd like to thank everybody over at the Beardy Awards for uh, giving me the best beard award truly does mean a lot. I'd like to thank uh, my mom, my dad, and the Academy. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, voting for me. It really does mean a lot. I want to thank you all so much for watching this epic series unfold. It really means a lot to me that you guys enjoyed these videos so much. And so just leave a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you again so much. And have a good one.